All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is LC, and today we are here with another Dragon Ball Project Multi video. We actually have some huge news concerning the game itself. Uh, there was a bit of a dry period of the game, actually, because regional B testing finished a couple months ago. But we actually have updated information that came out last night, at least for me anyway. The whole time time saving, whatever daylight savings, just messed me up, it's just all over the place. But we have some new news concerning it. Um, again, the game will not be coming out this year, it will come out next year, but they did give us some more information about the game itself and like what their plans are and um, like their pros and cons about the game of the testing and whatnot. So we'll go through all that today. I want to thank all of you guys for watching, whether you're old or new or slash subscriber. I appreciate it, all of the same. And now, let's get right into it. So, Dragon Ball Project Multi, Regional Beta Testing and Beyond. I wonder what the actual name for Project Multi is going to be actually that's that's because this, this isn't really the, the official name i'm pretty sure even i'm kind of like i'm used to this name though i kind of like calling it that but that's besides the point anyway let us start off by saying to all those who participated in the beta test thank you with all of the in and out excuse me all the in game and out of game feedback we received there are loads to, there's loads to work on in this letter we would like to explain a few of our design philosophies as well as the direction of project multi we'll, we'll be going towards this release jesus i just can't read today good lord anyways but before going into details let's preface this by saying this letter will be pretty long so strap into it anyways original intent project multi uh was designed to provide the experience of freely controlling your beloved dragon ball characters wherever with whomever and whenever okay uh, yeah yeah i can see that um through the the franchise first team first team focus multiplayer game Specifically, we aim to create a game where a fun where a fun competition could ha be had between most any player, even with a bit of a gap between their skills. Deep understanding of the game and practice will serve you well, but swaying game elements will ensure that each round will play out differently from the last. All of that in roughly 10 minutes for a satisfying experience without overstaying our welcome. The regional beta's purpose was to ensure the above values could be properly felt, as well as other fidelities, including but not limited to network stress and game and in game balancing. With that in mind, our conclusions for the two weeks are, excuse me, two weeks uh, test are as follows. Which honestly, it didn't even feel like two weeks. It felt like longer than that. But it was, it was two weeks apparently. It didn't feel like two weeks. It honestly felt longer than that. That's some tweaking. But I guess it was two weeks. It was a fun two. I'm not gonna lie. That was like playing the project multi was the most fun I've ever had, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like it was so fun. I love playing that game. I miss it daily. I honestly do. I'm not even like I'm not even joking. I definitely miss it daily. Uh, so the positives for the game: high interest in future hero characters, of course. Uh, general rules are not too confusing, easy to get into. Yeah, honestly, yeah. For my experience, they're actually pretty easy to to follow along and get a hold of. Like when I first did the. Uh, what was the other game? It was the second game. I forget what it was called. But um, it was kind of like the Capture the Flag one. Um, I At first, I was like, wait, what is this? And like, I got into it instantly. Like, it made sense. Like, It's not too hard at all. Ease of control. Network latency was not too, was not detrimental to overall experience. Honestly, yeah, the, the network was, was really, it wasn't really bad. At least for me, anyway. Maybe I had good Wi-Fi or something. But yeah, it wasn't really bad. I didn't really have any problems with network issues. Isometric views did not diminish the value of the world of Dragon Ball. Of course, honestly, you think it would, but it didn't. It honestly didn't. General aesthetics are in tune with fan expectations. Demand for cosmetic items exceeded expectations. Dude, I'm telling you right now, they could do so much with the customization, dude. Like, I pray that they they actually like cook with this, and they actually did for, like with a short term period. They cook with it, but I I pray they can just do because they can do so much more, so much like various costumes. It would just be so cool. So. And the thing is, I'm not the only person who said this. A lot of people actually, again, like I said, demand for cosmetic items to see expectation. So like they, people want more. So I know they could give it too because they just they cooked. They they they, 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 they cooked. It was so good. But now going into the negatives, certain game systems felt unrewarding. Um, a tad. I'll get to that afterwards. Uh, specific characters, roles, tanks, outperformed others. Oh, you got that right. <laughs> Yo, the one man, freaking Zamasu. That man was a menace. Any game mode, he if he was on any team, you're most likely winning the game. It was just simple as that. At first, I thought Cooler would be the best, but it's actually Zamasu. Zamasu was the most broken character, was, and I guess technically is, the most broken character until like, someone else comes out. Um, he, would, he just did way too much. He was his defense was up the wazoo he was just oy, he was too much man he was honestly way too like i like out of all the characters i thought like margin actually no, Majin was yeah but like i thought he would probably be the most like annoying him and zomisu but no zomisu just takes the cake he just on another level but i mean it made sense because if we're doing like anime accuracy um i i guess you know what i mean but like he was still very annoying and I, i'll get into more of it later but like it, it kind of makes sense as to why. Um, slightly confusing UI. Eh, it wasn't confusing to me. But 
I, I guess it, uh, maybe it's about other people's experience. It could have been um, friend slash party system bug. I didn't really face any bugs. You know, maybe other people did. I, th- I know I've heard about it. I just didn't see it. Lacking mobile uh, tailored interface. A tad. It kinda. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, crashes in high temperature. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. This is what I wanted to talk about. I just didn't get to into it. This thing blew up my phone. And my iPad, like, not literally, but like, it was on fire. My, my iPad never overheats. For mul- Project Multi, it it was on fire. Like, it literally burned my fingers as playing. I had a fun time doing it, but it was super hot. So hopefully they can yeah, fix the, the temperature issue. I didn't really have any crashes. It wasn't too, too often I had a crash. But like, the temperature was, oh, was a consistent thing. It was, it was too much. Too many bots? Yes, you're honestly fighting, like, yeah, you fought a lot of bots in the game. Um... Not enough difference between rounds to warrant long-term play- replayability. Yeah, yeah. It, they're not wrong. Like it's it was kind of the same thing every time. Wait, which was it terrible? But like it was kind of like the same outcome. So it wasn't really like, like for me, I think I love Dragon Ball, right? And honestly, this was a fresh new take. It's probably why I was so like heavily invested into it. And I played daily, but like. As someone who probably played like a MOBA, not me, but like someone who played MOBA like consistently, maybe think this, this could probably like bore someone out on a, you know, on the basis. So like, I don't know, but like, at least they addressed it and they know what to do now. Our intention is to further strengthen the positives and solve the negatives to provide, this ex- provide the experience we've originally envisioned. At the same time, we hope to keep expectations on what's to come at launch and a realistic level so as not to cause any disappointments. At least, again, at least they're aware. You know, some dumb devs just like, they, they might know it, but they don't care, or they just might not know it, you know what I mean? So at least they know. Now, getting into the major changes. Before moving on, please note that not all of our changes and, bu- and fixes excuse me, are set in stone yet. Discussions and planning are still being made and details of our plans will be expanded on in the, in the coming months through our official channels. With that, here are some of our major changes and directions of the future of Project Multi. Great Ape, matchmaking, hero creators, and game rules. So first, Great Ape. Its original objective was up to the ante of the accelerate the game and provide a chance for either team to... Okay. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, but it, yeah, it, it's yeah, yeah. They, they basically say both objectives were accomplished, but the latter came at a detriment for majority of players. Like, like if you were on a losing team, like I'm sure it could help you out. It, I guess, not. It could. It mainly helped you out a bit. You can still lose, obviously. But if you're already winning the game and you got that great ape, the game was done. It, 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 was, it was over like you you get the great depth you basically win the game that's pretty much how it is um so i can see why people got mad at that or they probably didn't like it as much as was our original design philosophy the great people still maintain the function to occur a, a climat a climactic end of round but the boon it <laughs> provided to its defeaters will be removed entirely um but the boon it provided to it, what did it do to the, the, the defeated again i don't know like it'll still give the buff and like, I'm pretty sure I think, um, to like the people who get it, but the boon it provided to his defeaters. I don't know what this means. I, I maybe I'm just dumb, but um, uh, I'm guessing like I don't I don't think it added any debuffs. Maybe it did. Did it slow you down? I don't I don't remember. It was, I remember what I know. Zeddy like both the Zeddy's like their times were speed up, sped up, and they both go attack a, a boss. So there's that. I just don't remember anything happening to the defending team you kind of just had to like fight your way back but i don't know uh we'll see okay anyways matchmaking in order to pleasantly continue playing multiplayer games it is essential to shorten the matchmaking and loading time as much as possible yeah yeah honestly every now and then the matchmaking did take a bit long for me um let us admit that we did we that we did that we excuse me overdid the tuning during this during the beta test Forcing the game client to instantly give up when looking for other players to match. You got that right. It just backed this out. Did you put you in another match? This is simply our mistake. And although bots will not disappear entirely, matchmaking in general will be made uh, better by launch. See, at least they understand. You know what I mean? Like these guys are so up. I, like these, like the, like the most like open devs have ever like, like 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 seen and like listened to. Like this is like it's very inspirational here. Um, yeah, at least they're aware and they're actually working on a fix for the loading times, right? Because it was either it took too long, it backed you out, or you just get paired with bots, right? So at least they're aware of it and they're making a fix. Now, hero characters. Okay, now this is where something can get controversial here, and I'm gonna explain my my take on it. Um, 
But let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. Because I actually really want to know what you guys' opinion about this specific part here. Hero characters. To provide a chance for every one of our hero characters to shine, uh, we will be making frequent balance changes whether they directly or indirectly change how a specific hero behaves. One key point we hope players un will understand with this is that not every character will perform perfectly in the same meta environment. That's what I want, like, that's what I really like. I want to touch more on this, this is what I want to talk about. But I'm going to finish up this uh, paragraph first, actually both these actually. There will always be certain heroes outperforming another in different scenarios and we feel that that is what will make this game fun and engaging. Our aim is to shift the spotlights from time to time onto different heroes to incentivize a variety of gameplay. That is not to say our beta test environment was perfect, it was not, but that's okay. Uh, on a note of hero characters, the shop level and hero coins are planned to be removed- No! <laughs> Instead, hero acquisition will be consolidated into the collection level. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Um, Rewards with a curated order of heroes available. As heroes are needed, additional level rewards will be invented for players to acquire them, um, them from. For those of you who may be worried about the heroes in the farther ladders of collection level, rewards may provide unfair advantages. We assure that every hero will have a strike to make this. Um, I kind of, not really, kind of lost the collection level, but uh, maybe my bridge is not in right now, but I want to talk about the whole meta changing thing. They, in my opinion, they nailed that. Like, they made it abundantly clear that, like, there's gonna be periods where some characters are better than others, and that's an okay thing. That's what keeps the game refreshing. And I think that's what a lot of people kind of get wrong about, like these kind of like, not just like mobile games, but like fighting games in general, right? Or like just games with, with metas in them, right? People think that like, if a character can't last through like every single meta that's changed, like that's been throughout the game, then the character's useless, or the character just like fell off or anything. But that's not entirely the case. Sometimes it's just they're not built for that meta, and that's okay. They're built for maybe like three, meta, like, not like three excessive metas, and the fourth one they fall off. You know what I mean? Like it's like it happened. It happens a lot in Dragon Ball Legends, right? And you see it time and time again. Like a character is good for a meta or two, and then they're not as good because a counter to them has come about, and people get mad at that. And it's like you shouldn't get mad at that. That's what keeps the game going. It's a never-ending cycle. That has to happen. If a character is just consistently, I mean, this is my opinion, a consistently is like neutral like peak, I mean, don't get me wrong, that a character that's good all around, you just never aged out, that's a good thing in theory, but it won't keep, in my opinion, it won't keep the game as fresh, you know what I mean? There has to be some kind of fall off to keep like, oh, um, the, like the power level just has to keep on going higher and higher, you know what I mean? Like there has to be a season where like, oh, this character used to be good, and it's now, it's not like not as good, but like this character is more better in this in this current meta, right? The meta has to keep on changing. If it's not going to change, the game's going to feel very stale, and it's you know what I mean. So that that's my forte on it. Let me know what you guys think of it. But me personally, I think that this is a good thing. Like, and, and don't get me wrong, there will be some annoying things about it. Like some characters will be broken. That which like I don't always enjoy, but broken characters, like unless you're using them, <laughs> that's a whole other thing. But like. I, I, me personally, I just don't think that it's a bad thing about them. Like, at least, like, they're admitting that, like, hey, we are going to actually have, like, these characters where they'll be good for our season, and the next minute, there'll be someone else better, all right? That's because our meta's shifting. At least they're making it aware and telling you in advance that that's going to happen, and I think that's a good thing. But again, if you disagree, let me know. Or agree. Uh, and lastly, game rules. Although the specifics are, 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 excuse me, I, hey, hey, hey. And lastly, game rules. Although the specifics are still on the drawing board, we have plans to implement a system of randomness to sway the outcome of whoa, whoa, to sway the outcome of a match to provide a certain degree of predictability. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. We do not wish for players to exist to be forced to perform optimally in the same fashion over and over again. Thank you. Uh, nor do we want players to feel their accomplishments and team fights to feel insignificant to the outcome of the round. We understand that the great ape was not optimal in the matter. Regardless, additional rules to be worked on and it will be disclosed in the coming months. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. I think everything in this like newsletter has been like spot on. Like, it's it's good that like they're, they're adding unpredictability. See now I'm kind of scared because like, what is that gonna be? I don't know what it is, but like what's if it's unpredictable? I don't know how that match is gonna go. Like that's the thing you gotta gotta worry about. Not that, like worry like badly, but like in the round that's what you have to worry about, right? Which is good. But um yeah, like you don't want them to feel it's significant. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like when you got the grade eight, it's kind of like when I played and I was like, okay, basically I could get the bosses right. Or I could just wait for the grade ape to come and I could just 
to win the game. That's basically my mindset was. It, it, it was not sad, but like it kind of just like it, you didn't really care as much as getting the bosses because the like, great ape will just basically help you win. Like, I help you. It ensured you winning the game, in my opinion, right? So it, it's one of those things where like. I kind of I wish, but like I guess that's what they're doing now. Was like if you get a grade eight or something like that of the sorts, um, there that unpredictability factor can like help you come back if the opposite team does get a grade eight. You know what I mean? Something like that, or vice versa. So maybe, but I do like again that they're adding some unpredictability to the game as well. And now, lastly, the conclusion: our priority remains to provide the long-term fun for all fans of Dragon Ball through Project Multi. Although many of the designs listed above may change at launch, they probably will. Uh, we will put our effort to retain transparency so that our players will understand our intent behind gameplay changes. Furthermore, any feedback would be greatly appreciated to make a better overall experience. We look forward to seeing you all on the battlefield again, Dragon Ball Project Multi development and management team. <sighs> so there you go. That was basically the huge news that has been dropped for a bunch of multi. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. Man oh man, that was long, but honestly worth it. I, again, I honestly do appreciate them being very transparent, at least what it appears to be anyway, um, with us in this uh, newsletter. Um, there are some things I kind of do and don't agree on, but for the most part I do. I'm like 95% agree, 5% don't agree. Like, it's, it's like that. Like, honestly, for the most part, yeah. I get, you get, yeah. I, me personally, I'd rather not have like bots playing every, like, in, like at all. But like sometimes they'll come in handy, so like, yeah, it's iffy. But for the most part, yeah, the, the, again, spot on. The part I really enjoy, not enjoy, but like I really agree with is like hero character portion. Like there will be meta shifts and there will be time to time where like characters will have different moments to shine, right? So like, that's just how the game's gonna work. That's how most games work. But yeah, some people don't like that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of Project Multi coming back in 2025, as well as the new information that has just dropped recently. Once again, my name is LC. Have an amazing day. God bless, and I'll catch you all later.